Okay, so I'm about to go check and see how this place is down here. I'm not really intending on fishing, but I'm just curious how it sees. I haven't been down here in a while. It's back at the same spot I always go to for the fishing videos, the one that's always clogged up. I'm just gonna go see how it is, see how it's looking. But um, I'm not expecting much. I mean, look at change. It's probably still clogged up in a mess. But who knows, let's go find out. All right, let's take a look. I saw a turtle pop its head up. What's going on over here? Still clogged up. But, is that a phone? What is that? Let's take a look. <sighs> is that Nokia? An old cell phone. Or a walkie-talkie. Can anybody hear me on this thing? I'm assuming it doesn't work. It's the brand. Audio something? Interesting. Ain't batteries in it? <laughs> Pop the trunk open. See if there's any batteries in it. Come on. Open up. Go away from me, bug. Mm, give me one second. Alright, I'm having a hard time opening it, but I'll just leave it. Um, should I go throw it away or something? Here. Um, so I'd leave it there in case the person who left it wants it back. I have no idea what I should do with it. Like, I don't know. Should I go throw it away? I'll just leave it here in case someone wants to claim it or if anything on it. So anyways, how's it looking over here? Any, any fishies? Doggies? Doggies? Come on, doggies. Where you at? How else is it looking? <sighs> huh. Looks like a muddy mess. With probably no fish biting, I bet. Look at that out there. So yeah, I did see a turtle pop its head up right around over there somewhere. But... I really question whether or not there's even anything biting in here. How about the other side? Mm, doesn't look much to me. Still looks very messy back here. Very messy. Yep. Huh. Alright then, I guess we got our answer. Why don't I bounce before mosquitoes start biting at me or something jumps out of these grass. Let's go. Alright, so I also noticed this on the way out. Look at these, look at these mushrooms on that tree. The fungi right there. You want to know what kind of fungi that is? Huh. Mushrooms on a tree. Mushrooms on a stick, huh. Could roast that up and call it a nice roasted mushroom. Nice. You ever eat a roasted mushroom on a stick? If you're really into mushroom on a stick, there you go right there. I'm curious what would happen if I tried to climb that tree. Let's find out. Hi. I'm like a sloth. Hope you like that. Well, well, well. What do we have here, huh? Looks like a Trojan right there. On the middle of the road, or by the middle of the road. Nothing like that. Is it open? Yo, it's not even opened. It's a fresh condom. Although, well, I have no use for it. 
And, of course, either way, I'm not sure if I would trust a condom on the side of the road, so. Trojan condom, huh. Hmm. This product contains a natural rubber latex which may cause allergic reactions. Hmm. So, like, should I throw this away or something? Well, if I forget to throw it away and I, like, leave it somewhere and then someone will be like, Yeah, Zay, where you get that thing from? I'll go find somewhere to throw it away, but I'm definitely not throwing it away at the house. <laughs> On one hand, I am curious to see what it looks like, though. I guess I've never actually seen a con- Well, I have seen it before at a playground. I can't explain it. It was a- It was a kindergarten playground. Was it kindergarten? Elementary school playground. Found a condom by the swing set. Why was it there? Who put it there? No one knows. Why was it at an elementary school playground? Don't know. All I know, I remember someone had, like, Guy with a stick and held up like that, but, but this was the first time I ever had to held one. I feel kind of weird for touching it. I'm not sure if I want to touch it though. Ugh, is that thing juicy? You know what? Even though it's a sealed wrapper, I, I don't trust it. I'm th uh, uh Even though it's sealed, I don't trust that thing. No. I'm not sure if condoms come lubricated or what. I just know. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Uh, I guess I'll find somewhere to throw that away in. I guess stop at a store or something. Not throwing away at home. So, yep. Oh, man. Look at this thing. I'm kind of curious what it feels like to wear one of these things. But curiosity is not going to kill the cat today. I'm going to end up getting like some type of STD or something. I'll try putting this thing on. I mean, like I said, it wasn't open, so it should be fine, I suppose, but at the same time, I don't trust the condom I found on the side of the road, and I'm not curious that much to try to wear this thing. Okay, I threw it away, and also got myself a few goodies in there. Got myself some wrist crackers, and also a Hershey's bar. I haven't had a Hershey's bar in a while. Last chocolate bar I had was uh, Milka's. I think it's the last one I had. It was some pretty good chocolates, but I had to order because I don't think they're around here in America. They're like a German chocolate bar. This it was good. It was like um, an Oreo chocolate. I had to order more of those. They were they were really good. It came in like a package of five, I think. So maybe one day I can do like a video tasting foreign candies or chocolates. I don't really like candy that much, but chocolate. Mm. Also. The Chip Ahoy's in there were on sale, and I thought about getting some, but they had so many flavors. And I even saw Oreo. They had, like, a dark chocolate Oreo, and I thought, you know what? One day I should just make a video also trying Oreo or Chip Ahoy flavors and all the ones they had. There's so many varieties, so I thought about doing that, too. So, yeah. All right, so I was just on the phone with my girlfriend, and I saw this cool thing inside this Walmart. I went inside this Walmart. I was getting some stuff, and the fish from the pet store and I stumbled upon something so cool I'm in the toy aisle I mean look at this it's an allosaurus yo they have spinos carnos rexes look at this raptor look how cool this is look at how cool the mouth opens yo you know how long it's been since I've been excited over a toy I just came over this aisle because I was bored I haven't been to the toy aisle in many years so I figured why not go there for old time's sake? And I discover these super cool. Look at that. I'm so tempted to buy one of these things. They're $8.88. And like some of the legs move. Like you can tell that one moves. I think that one does. You can see how it has a thing on it. The arms move. The mouth move. Look at that aloe. Look at the Dilophosaur. Look at that. Yo. It's been so long since I've been excited to see toys. I gotta get one of these, yo. I'm just trying to decide which one. Do I get the aloe, which is like my favorite dinosaur. The carna, which is another favorite. The spinal looks so beautiful. There's even a Rex back there. The raptor looks cool. Even the lava, so look at the lava, so it looks so good. Look at how the, the things flaps, like the flaps are open. Yo, I gotta get one of these. Also, that's... The stuff I came for. It's a lamb and Hershey's. I like lambs, but that's besides the point. I gotta get one of these, yo.
that's super cool. I just had to say that. Look at that. Look at that. <sighs> Man. I'm 19 years old, almost 20, and the toy aisle getting excited over toys. You know what? Sometimes people don't change. Sometimes, even when you're old, you may still be excited to see toys. I'm just saying, this is just so, so cool. And I'm going to get one. I just got to figure out which. I think I may go with the aloe since that's my favorite. Oh, that is looking cool too. And that is looking cool. And so is that. I think at some point I'll get all of them. But to start off, maybe I'll go with the aloe since it is my favorite. Or maybe the carno. I'll decide. And uh, I'll see you next time. Okay, so I actually got the Allosaurus. The Carnosaurus, or the Carnotaurus. I was going to get that, but it just had a bad color problem. Like, the painting wasn't consistent. Like, one side was nice and colored like this, and then another side was just all faded and stuff. I just did not like that at all. I really would have gotten it. I love how the legs were able to move on the Carno, but it's unfortunate. Because when I think of the Carno, I think about when I played Ark. And I think about how that thing would just stare at you down, just coming at you and stuff like that. That's really what I liked, but it just felt very off with the fact that it was not painted so well. One side fine, one side faded. I just didn't, I just didn't like that at all. So I got just the aloe. I would have gotten both, but this is, this is, this is it right here. I gotta come up with a name for it. I gotta come up with a name for it. Who? What should I name you? Welcome to. Termakyle's team. Oh, look at that. That is a beauty. The mouth moves. Look at that. Look at that. There he is, right there in the back seat. I put him in a seat belt so he'll stay safe on the trip home. There you go, little buddy. You sit in the back seat and I will take us home. Here you go, buddy. Have some of my brisket I got from Arby's. It's good. Have some. There's curly, look, there's curly fries in it, a brisket, barbecue sauce. See, as good, isn't it? That's my boy right there.